Hello, welcome back year seven. Today we are looking at multiplying fractions. Okay, we've done adding and we've done subtracting today. We're looking at multiplying. Now there are two kind of simple steps that we need to remember with multiplying and we need to be careful not to confuse it with the rules that we had for adding and subtracting. Okay. That's the most common mistake that people make is they get confused between the rules between each. So let's go through the multiplying fraction rules. So the first rule um, we need to make, okay, is uh, make any whole numbers fractions over one. So e.g. Uh, four becomes four over one. Okay, dividing something by one doesn't change it, but it's going to help us uh, with the next step. The next step is multiply top with top and bottom with bottom. So uh, we're just going to multiply the top of the top and the bottom with the bottom to get our answer. Let me uh, take you through this first couple of examples here. So number one, A becomes five over one times one over three. And then we just need to multiply the top with the top. So it becomes five and then the bottom with the bottom, which becomes three. And we get our answer, which is five over three. So you can see there. Um, the top two numbers have multiplied to get our top number in our answer and the bottom two numbers have multiplied to get the bottom in our answer. Now this is different to adding and subtracting where we only added the top. We don't have to change denominators or anything like that with multiplying. It's actually quite simple in the end. Just multiply top with top and bottom with the bottom and any whole numbers become over one. Okay, so for part B, We've got seven over eight divided by four over five. We don't have to do any conversions, just multiply top with top and bottom by bottom. So we get uh, seven times four, which is 28, and eight times five, which is 40. Okay, now we've got an answer here, but we can simplify this answer. So remember the way that we simplify fractions is we think, uh, what are the common uh, numbers? Uh, that's or the, the common factor, sorry, of the top of the numbers here. So then we've got to think, how can we divide both the top and the bottom by the same number to get a simpler fraction? So we've got to find the highest common factor of these two numbers. Okay, now you could write out these factors. So you could have for 28, one, two, three, four, uh, seven, 14, 28, or, uh, for 40, you could have 1, 2, 4, uh, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Uh, and the highest common factor of these two is going to be 4. So I can divide the top and bottom by 4 as such. And I'll get my answer here, 7 over 10. So times top by top, bottom by bottom, and then if you can simplify it to its smallest form so that these numbers can't be divided by the same number anymore. Okay, now for this last example here, we have a mixed numeral, and what we need to do is we need to convert it into an improper fraction. As you might have seen, improper fractions are much easier to work with uh, than mixed numerals are when it comes to these calculations. So. Let's convert these into uh, improper fractions. Now remember we need to multiply how many fourths are in four? Well, there's gonna be four times four. So this is going to become four times four plus three over four, multiplied by, and then uh, how many fifths in one? Well, there's gonna be uh, one times five. So it's gonna be one times five plus one over five. And then we need to simplify this. So four times four is 16 plus three is 19. So we're going to get 19, 19 quarters times by five plus one is six times by six fifths. 
And now that we've got them in improper fractions, we can just multiply top by top and bottom by bottom. So here we have 19 times 6, which is going to be 60 plus 54, uh, which is 114. Okay, and then 4 times 5 is going to be 20. And we've got our answer here, but can we simplify it? Of course, we can simplify this. Okay, so when we simplify this, we've got to think what is the highest common factor going to be? Uh, I've got to think, uh, can I take 2 out? I can take 2 out. And then I'm going to get 57 and 10, and then there's no other common factor. So I'm just going to divide top and bottom by 2. We get 57 over 10 as our final answer here. Okay, so just to go through it again, times top by top and bottom by bottom. That's the simple thing. Now, if you can simplify, simplify after that. Um, and just remember as well, uh, to convert any, imp uh, any mixed numerals into improper fractions and any whole numbers uh, as over one. Okay, uh, do be in contact if you've got any questions. Good luck with the questions today and I'll see you in the next video.